Good morning students. This is Dr. Jivir Shashiro, Associate Professor in the Department of Mechanical Engineering, Institute of Aeronautical Engineering, Hyderabad. So in this uh, session, I would like to discuss about preferred numbers. So how to um, select a preferred number for a good design. So what is the purpose of um, the preferred numbers? So we will see. So first of all, with the acceptance of uh, standardization. So the, what, do you, what do you mean by standardization? I, I will tell you. So after acceptance of standardization, there is a need to keep the standard sizes or dimensions of uh, any component or product in uh, discrete steps. So any component or standard sizes you should keep. For good design, always you, you should use the standards uh, design. So what do you mean by standards? There are uh, many in the standards are the international standards are there, national standards are there. I will show you in the next slides. So the so always the for better design, you should keep the, the standard sizes of the component or uh, the dimensions. So example bolt M16. You take M16 bolt. This is the standard uh, uh, diameter of the bolt. What is the M16? So you can write M16 by 0.5. So what is this uh, standard size? The many standard size bolts are available. The 16 is a nominal diameter and 1.5 is the fits of the bolt. So this type of uh, standard sizes are uh, available. So many example washers and bearings, ball bearings, roller bearings. These all are uh, comes under standard size. So, what are the standard standard? What is the standardization? And uh, the, what are the standard parts? We will see later. So, the after acceptance of this uh, standardized term, to, to compulsory we should keep the standard sizes for design in your product. When you when you are uh, designing any product, you should use the number of standard size standard parts. So the sizes should be spread over the wide range. At the same time, these should be spaced properly. So the sizes should be spread over the wide range. So number of uh, ranges you, you should you be spread. And then at the same time, uh, these, these should be spaced properly, not in a closed manner. For example, here, if shaft diameters are to be standardized between 10 mm, 25 mm, and then size should be like uh, 10 mm, 12.5 mm, and uh, 16 mm, 20 mm, 25 mm, and not like uh, 10, 11, 13, 18, and 25 mm. So already we have studied uh, in the shaft design, in shaft topic, already we have solved problems. So always, uh, uh, <laughs> we have taken the standard uh, size of the shaft. So why, why should you select the standard size? For standardization. So you should see here the shaft diameters are uh, the standards between 10 mm and 25 mm and then should, uh, should be like 10, 12.5. So here 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. So like that up to uh, 110. Clear? This, these all are uh, the standard uh, sizes. So, th these, uh, this lead to the use of geometric series known as a series of preferred numbers or preferred series. See, in the previous slide, I uh, have shown here uh, the shaft diameters are standard 10, 25, and uh, here uh, 10, 12.5, 16, 20, 25. Clear? We can take uh, the 10 and uh, 11 and the 13 like this. Why should we, uh, we take like this, the 10 after that 12.516? So there is a, a method. We should follow that method. So one particular one uh, series, whether it may be arithmetic or geometric, but here it, uh, it in, in standardization, a use of geometric series. 
they have used geometric series series of preferred numbers or or preferred series these uh, the standard uh, numbers are uh, called as preferred numbers or otherwise preferred series so the preferred series are a series of numbers obtained by geometric progression and rounded off clear so the series of numbers obtained by geometric progression only so randomly not taken so what are the what are the preferred numbers we will see in this slide there are five basic series with step ratios of 5 root 10 10 root 10 and 20 root 10 and 40 root 10 and 80 root 10 total five basic series so these ratios are approximately equal to 5 root 10 equal to 1.58 next 10 root 10 1.26 and third one 20 root 10 1.12 and fourth one 1.06 the fifth one 1.03 so these are the standard of the basic series so the values are approximately calculated 1.58 and 1.56 like this the five basic series of preferred numbers known as preferred series the five the basic preferred numbers are designated as R5, R10, R20, R40, and R80. These series are designated as R5, R10, R20, R40, and R80. These are the standard uh, set of series known as preferred series. The examples of preferred number series are standard sharp diameters. So already we have discussed in previous slide. Power rating of coupling: 10 kilowatts, 20 kilowatts, 10, uh, 12.5 or 20, 25.5, 25, like that. Center distance of uh, standard gear boxes. The center distance uh, between the gear boxes in terms of meters or mm. so these are the examples of our preferred numbers so what are the advantages of preferred numbers why should we use preferred numbers while designing a component or while designing a product so to see the difference in two successive terms the first r5 and r10 as a fixed percentage and again r10 and r20 there is a uh, fixed percentage so it provides the small steps for small quantities and large steps for large quantities provides small steps for small quantity for large steps for large quantities so suppose you take example 25 the diameter uh, the diameter of the shaft 25 mm so next example next 30 next 35 the small uh, steps so five steps here five and here five so large number of uh, the large steps for large quantities suppose uh, the 110 mm diameter of the shaft is there if here if you should take the large steps 10 mm step so 120 130 140 150 so on. so that's why it provides small steps for smaller quantities and large steps for larger quantities so not only for diameter or any uh, parameter the distances and kilowatts the product range is covered with the minimum number of uh, sizes without restricting the choice of the customers so these are the advantages of uh, preferred numbers i told you in the first slide after the acceptance of standardization so what do you mean by standardization here i will explain the standardization is defined as the the obligatory that means compulsory norms you must follow 
to which various characteristics of a product should compile they agree with standard you should agree with the standard so m16 bolt is there you should agree the standard size the characteristics include materials dimensions and the shape of the component the method of testing and method of marking and packing and storing of the product in characteristics including materials and dimensions the shape of the component also it should be used in the um, uh, standardization while doing testing you should use the standard uh, methods how to use uh, the standard packing methods clear so this is uh, called as uh, standardization so as per definition a standard is defined as a set of specifications or a set of instructions for parts materials or process the object of a standard is to reduce the variety and uh, limit the number of items to a reasonable level so by using this standardization to reduce the variety so in any design you should minimize the variety use of uh, variety components always use always prefer the standard sizes standard components on the other hand a code is defined as a set of specifications for the analysis design and manufacture testing and direction of the product the set of uh, instructions specifications you should follow while designing or, uh, or manufacturing or testing the purpose of a code is to achieve a specified level of safety so that's why the standardization is very important in designing there are uh, three types of uh, standard uh, standards are used in design so what are they one is the company standards they are used in a particular uh, company or a group of uh, sister concerns they are uh, used some uh, standards and again these uh, standards are uh, classified into national level standards and international level standards india the bas bureau of indian standards they are using this bas and in germany standards are called as din standards and usa american iron and steel institute or sa also you know the society of automotive engineers and uk the bs british standards asm we call the asm also standard american uh, society of mechanical engineers international stand standards are these are prepared by the international standard organization so that is uh, called as iso so suppose we are designing uh, any component as per uh, india standard or as per uh, germany din standard you clearly mention as per germany standards the following specifications are derived the following parameters are determined as for bas standards so that's why the standardization is very important in uh, designing what are the benefits of standardization reductions in types and dimensions of identical components reduction in manufacturing facilities not required a large number of uh, manufacturing facilities easy to replace interchangeability is there if you want to replace you want to remove one component on standard you can replace with the standard item no need to design again no need to design or uh, test the elements and improves the quality and the reliability the standardization improves the quality and the reliability and it uh, it may results in a overall cost reduction so we have used a lot of uh, a number of uh, standard uh, parts in our design so ultimately it leads to a cost reduction 
and it gives quality. You can reduce the manufacturing co uh, the cost and improves the reputations of the company, re reputation of the company which manufactures standard components. It improves so that the standardization is, uh, uh, it is standardization plays important role in uh, design. So that's why uh, we should use the preferred numbers and uh, standards. So these are the references uh, I have taken. Thank you. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.